What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about some games that I've recently checked out. Actually, I was just looking online, checking out GameStop to see what they have in stock to see which games I want to pick up next. So currently some of these games may be available in the store or just online and available for me to order and have it shipped to me. So for the first game I wanna talk about is Payday 2. Now, if you watched my last video, I've talked about the games that I currently own and one of the games was Rico, and that kind of gave me a little bit more of GTA vibes. Now, this game here, it seems that it definitely gives me GTA vibes. Now, with these games that I'm looking at and that I have not played yet, I'm looking to get more of a first impressions experience. So that's what I'm going by pretty much for the cover of this game. Actually, that game is currently $40 USD at the time of this video. And kind of, you know, when it comes to games, you're looking to spend roughly that price range to $60 for new releases. Maybe later we'll talk more about games that are available for sale. So the next game that I'm interested in is Sniper Elite 4. As I mentioned in previous videos that I'm interested in first person shooter games and games that kind of have like a, you know, action campaign. That's what I prefer and also racing games as well. Recently started getting back into fighting games. So I mentioned Mortal Kombat as a recent pickup and that I've been playing. And that's kind of one of the original styles of games that I have played before. With this game right here, it's kind of reminded me of Call of Duty a little bit. And I play Call of Duty a lot. One of my favorite franchise of games to play. And I wanted something kind of similar to that gameplay on the Nintendo Switch. That may or may not give me that, but we will see. Again, just looking at the screenshots and the gameplay, looking the cover of this game, it looks to be like something similar so definitely looking forward to picking this one up and it's currently 40 dollars as well so the next game i have looked at is metro redux now this game i actually picked up for my ps4 and i never played this game so it's just been sitting over here in my stand unplayed collecting dust so i may need to give this a try on my playstation before i pick it up for the nintendo switch here this one right here it looks to be one player only so no multiplayer no online gameplay for this but that's fine really was looking to play a new campaign for a similar style of game definitely will check this out later next game i'm going to talk about is a racing game in particular and that is need for speed hot pursuit remastered now that game i have played before not necessarily hot pursuit and so this is be another racing game that i can pick up hopefully i will be able to get a better experience and gameplay for the nintendo switch here i know need for speed is a well-known game for most people i'm excited to check out the remastered version on the nintendo switch here so another racing game i was interested in is burnout paradise so burnout paradise is currently available on gamestop for 28 dollars now it's a little cheaper than need for speed hot pursuit because that is available for 35 dollars kind of get up a savings there but right now the need for speed one it looks like it has a little bit better graphics we shall see on that one but again definitely something i may still check out and see if i like it and if i want to add it to the collection last but certainly not least, Animal Crossing. Now, I know this is a huge, huge, huge play game. Like, everybody loves Animal Crossing. Now, I originally wasn't really interested in it because it's not my style of gaming, but thanks to my first recommendation from someone that left a comment on one of my videos, and I really appreciate the recommendation here. So I thought I'd consider it and give it a try. So yeah, I appreciate you leaving the recommendation. I really do. And you guys, if you want to leave more, definitely do so. Let me know what you recommend for gaming, um, particularly in the realm that I'm interested in as well. But no spoilers. Um, just kind of give me a general idea of what you think about those recommendations. But yeah, pretty much that's going to be it for this video, you guys. I just want to do something real short, real quick to let you guys know what I'm interested in and what I'm looking at to pick up for my next game and purchase as far as video games. You guys already know the drill. At least one of those, like a video, subscribe. Definitely consider doing both if you can. Definitely leave a comment and let me know what you guys are interested in and the games that you play. 
And just to also let you guys know, I'm more of a traditional gamer, so I like to pick up physical copies to play. I haven't purchased any digital copies as of now, but maybe in the future, I will look into downloading a few games for like my PlayStation, as well as the Nintendo Switch and checking out eShop. Now here, as you can see right now, I got eShop pulled up. And to be honest, there's some pretty sweet deals on a few games here. And this is more like the recent release. So I can imagine the sales that are currently going on for this month for May that just started. And I may, you know, check a few things out to see if I will be interested in playing a few of those games that are currently on sale. But with all that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.